using the toolbox line tool let's do it to use the line tool select the line tool click and start dragging in the direction in which you want to draw the line release the mouse button the line will be drawn pencil tool let's do it to use the pencil tool select the pencil tool choose a drawing mode under options in the toolbox a choose straighten to draw straight lines and convert approximations of triangles ovals circles rectangles into these common geometric shapes choose smooth to draw smooth curved lines choose ink to draw free hand lines with no modification required press the mouse button down and start dragging release the mouse button to finish drawing the shape will be drawn rectangular polystar tool let's do it to use the rectangle tool select the rectangle tool drag to draw the rectangle to draw rectangle with round corners for the rectangle tool specify rounded corners by entering a corner radius value in the property inspector a value of 0 creates square corners to draw a polygon star let's do it to use the polystar tool select the polystar tool in the property inspector click on the options button the tool settings dialog box opens from the style drop down list select star or polygon as required specify the number of sides click on the okay button drag to draw a polygon or a star the polygon or star will be drawn as specified oval tool let's do it to use the oval tool select the oval tool drag to draw ovals free transform tool let's do it to use the transform tool select a shape to select the fill as well as stroke double click on the shape select the free transform tool the bounding box with handles appear around the shape use the handles on the bounding box to click and drag to apply transformations the shape will get resized brush tool let's do it to draw with brush tool select the brush tool select the brush shape and the brush size from the options box drag the mouse to draw brush size brush shape ink bottle let's do it to use the ink bottle tool to change the stroke outline properties select the ink bottle tool in the property inspector select the following a select the stroke color b select the stroke height thickness c select the stroke style click on the object whose stroke properties you want to change the new stroke properties will get applied to the object paint bucket tool let's do it to use the paint bucket tool select the paint bucket tool from the fill color box select the color to fill click in the object the selected color will get filled quick quiz what is the difference between ink bottle tool and paint bucket tool text tool let's do it to use the text tool select the text tool click where you want to type the text the text box appears start typing the text in the property inspector set the following properties a font to select the font type b font size to make the text size bigger or smaller c font style to make the text bold and italic d alignment to change the alignment left center right or justify with respect to the text box in which it has been typed letter spacing to increase or decrease the spacing between characters font type size styles bold italic 
letter spacing, color, alignments. Eraser tool. Let's do it. To use the eraser tool, select the eraser tool. From the options box, select the eraser shape and its thickness. Faucet mode. Drag over the area which you want to erase. Quick quiz. What is the use of faucet mode in eraser tool?